once, dragons and men coexisted. They shared a peace forged in wisdom. A peace that lasted many generations. All that was lost when mankind disrupted this balance in a sudden onslaught. Man fought dragon in a savage war that shook the foundations of their world. This war was called the Scouring. Defeated and humbled, dragons vanished from the realm. In time, man rebuilt and spread his dominion across the land and onto the islands beyond. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. Hey everybody, it's Trainer Shy Guy, and welcome to my Let's Play of Fire Emblem The Blazing Sword. I've wanted to do this game for a long time, and it's actually been kind of funny because I've tried to do it a couple times, but then not really finished it. But this time I'm gonna finish it, and if if I don't, then you were able to punch me in the face. Anyway, I am really excited to bring this to the channel, and I've put a lot of work into this LP, which will become apparent pretty soon. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, well, I know for sure that my name is not Mark, and my na my birthday is not in January, so we're gonna we're gonna change this up. Uh, I am gonna go with Shy Guy, and then my birth month is June. Are these settings you want to use? Yeah. Prologue. Girl from the Plains. Just a girl from the Plains. No big deal. Are you awake? I found you unconscious on the Plains. I am Lynn of the Lorca tribe. You're safe now. Who are you? Can you remember your name? Your name is Shy Guy? What an odd sounding name. Well, that's probably because it's not my real name. But you don't know that. Pay me no mind. It is a good name. Oh, thanks. I see by your attire that you're a traveler. What brings you to the Cicada Plains? Would you share your story with me? Hmm? What was that noise? I'll go see what's happening, Shy Guy. Wait here for me. Oh no! Bandits! They must have come back down from the mountain. Or they must have come down from the burned mountains. I must be planning on raiding the local villages. I have to stop them. If that's all of them, I think I can handle them on my own. You'll be safe in here, shy guy. No, I want to hell. Oh, that's actually what it said. Well, can you use a weapon? Ah, I see. So you're a strategist by trade. A odd profession, but very well. Let's go together. Yeah. I doubt there will be any more strategies in the Fire Emblem games. That just seems weird, right? If you want to help, Shy Guy, I could use your advice. I'll protect you, so stay close to me. And the information is blue. I can explain all this. I don't need your help. So basically, the gist of what they said is, we got blue units, which is Lin, and those are the ones we control. We don't control our, ourselves because we're the strategists, so we're the ones telling everyone else what to do. Yes, this should be close enough. Oh, the bandit spotted me. He's coming this way. So, you know, when their turn comes, they move. Let's get close and attack. So, since we're a melee unit, we have to be up close. So, that seems pretty obvious. Now, in this case, we actually 
have an advantage because we're using a sword. They'll go over this soon, but just remember for now that swords are good against axes, axes are good against, lan against lances, and lances are good against swords. Now you might notice there that, okay, well, I think we're supposed to take that hit because that'd be really sad if he hit me with a 39% chance. Um, victory! I mean, oh yeah, okay, that was supposed to happen. I can never remember if that one is supposed to happen or not. So, at least I have to go up here and use an item. So, a after this, we should we should check out Lin's stats. Yeah, I got a little too close to comfort with that with that expression. That would have been bad. Now, because he's a boss, he doesn't move, so that's really nice. Alright, so here we have the stats screen, and uh, let's go over them real quick. Strength, strength affects your damage, skill affects your hit percentage, speed affects both evasion and attacks. What they mean by that is if your speed is double or more than your enemies, you'll attack twice. Um, conversely, they will do the same if their speed is double yours. Luck affects many different things. This includes things like critical hit rate, and I believe it also affects evasion. I could be wrong though, and I'll put that on. I'll put text on screen if I'm wrong. Defense, obvious. Um, it reduces your damage, uh, or re reduces damage from being hit. Resistance is the same as defense, but for magic. Move is how far you can move. And constitution affects rescuing units, which we'll go into later. Now that we've gone over the stats, I want to talk about them in a bit more detail, but in order to do that, we have to go to something else. So this here is the first bio we're going to be doing. And if you see the big, bright, colorful graph on the side there, that was made by Secret Septile. All of them were made by Secret Septile. And he's awesome, so you know, go look at him. But here we have the unit's name, portrait, class, starting weapon rank, which will go up as we use the weapon, starting movement, something the unit is good for, and some backstory. Now, the numbers on the graph there are actually the growth rates, and every unit has different growth rates, and what are the growth rates, you might ask? Well, I'm here to explain growth rates to you. Are you sick of hearing me say growth rates yet? The percentages there are for when you level up. For example, when Lin levels up, she has a 70% chance of her HP going up. As you might notice, her defense is pretty low. However, that's not that bad considering that she has a lot of speed, or at least has the chance to have a lot of speed. So she probably won't be getting hit by a lot of attacks, however if she does she'll be taking some real damage. Now one thing that I should make clear is that you can get very lucky and have all the stats go up, and when that happens, that is pretty much what most people call being RNG blessed. So what that means is that you can totally get RNG blessed or RNG screwed, making units be either really really good or really really bad, but generally it is a pretty good idea to just kind of go with what is there and plan around that. Anyway, let's take this guy on. Who do you think you are? You think you can stand up to the bottom of the beast? Eh, uh, kind of. Ow. As we just explained, I hit twice because my speed is double than his. Lynn is a very fast unit, although she can't really take any hits. As she's saying here, that it comes down to the next blow. And since he's on the boss tile, he heals a little bit. And crit. That was a scripted crit, if that wasn't obvious. Um, so here we go, we're gonna get a level up, and let's see what goes up. So we got speed, HP, and luck. That's pretty good. Would have preferred to get some strength, but it's only a 40% chance. Okay. So now, yep, they're just kind of explaining level ups. So, in order to win this map at least, it'll always say up here in the corner, as I get to as I get close to it, it goes away. But it'll always say in one of the corners what you have to do to win the battle. And in this case, all we have to do is just exactly this. Seas. Let's go home. Good morning, shy guy. Are you awake yet? 
So, <laughs> you have experience in the ways of war, I can see. So I'm going to be doing bios for every single character in the game. And that's what I was meaning when I was talking about the beginning, where I was saying, like, Oh, I should probably... My mother and father died six months ago. My people, the Lorca, they don't... I'm the last of my tribe. Bandits attacked and they killed so many people. The tribe was scattered. My father is our chieftain. I wanted to protect our people, but I'm so young and our people were... old-fashioned. They wouldn't follow a woman. No one would follow me. Kinda messed up. I'm sorry. I've been alone for so long. No, no more. I will shed no more tears. Kinda reminds me of another game. Thank you. I'm better now. Shall I get I want? I must become stronger so I can avenge my father's death. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I won't be I won't become stronger just sitting here alone. Shy guy, tell me you'll train me. They'll let me travel with you. Well, I thought I didn't have any combat experience. How am I supposed to train you? I guess I can teach her strategies, but... I don't know. Lin's one of those characters that everyone seems to want in Smash Brothers. But anyway, like I was saying, when I was talking in the beginning about how I did lots of work on this... On the, yeah, on this series, I had to make, like, I think, like, 55 bios or something. There's a lot of characters in this game, and it's nothing compared to later games. Anyway, now we're heading to another town where we will meet two more units. Footsteps of Fate. Shy Guy, over here. This is Bulgar, the biggest city in all of Sakae. We should purchase supplies for our journey. Oh my heart! What a dazzling vision of loveliness! Hmm? Wait, oh beauteous one! Would you not favor me with your name, or better yet, your company? Where are you from, Sir Knight, that you speak so freely to a stranger? Ha! I thought you'd never ask. I am from Lycia. I hail from the Kaelin Canton, home to men of passion and fire. Shouldn't that be home to callow oaths with loose tongues? Oof, you're even more lovely when you're cruel. Eh, depends on what you're into saying, but you know. Wait, please! Sane, hold your tongue! Ah, Kent, my boon companion. Why so severe an expression? If your manner were more serious, I wouldn't have to be so severe. I love these guys. They're awesome. Sane's a pretty good unit, too. Uh, Kane is... Er, Kane. Kent. Kent is more balanced, but Sane is pretty strong. Um, what happened to purchasing supplies? We're leaving already? Thank you. At least some... You at least seem honorable enough. Hmm, pardon me, but I feel we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fair, Kent. I saw her first. <sighs> Seems there are no decent men even among Lycia's knights. Let's go, Shy Guy. I've run out of patience. Wait, please, not like that. Saying you lout. Huh? Not like that. I thought you were... I am not you! Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be... Be what? She's our mission? You're joking. Wait! Run, we're being pursued. Could it be those knights from town? No, it's not them. These men are out for blood. <laughs> Aren't you the pretty one? Your name is Lindis, is it not? What did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste, an absolute waste. Things I do for gold. Ah oh, well, time to die, darling. Come on out, boys. Well, they're all using axes. I can take them. That's not true. We can totally take them. Hey, it's Kent and Sane. Ugh, finally caught up. Hold you there, what is your business? Such numbers against a girl? Cowards, every one of you. You, you're from... We can discuss that later. 
It appears these ruffians mean to do you harm. If it's a fight they want, let them look to me. Stand back, I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight, stand in my way. Everyone is fighting over who can do the fighting. I have a solution. You there, command us. I am Kent, knight, a knight of Lycia, my companion is sane. We will follow your orders in this battle. Is this, is this acceptable, my lady? Yes, it is. Shy Guy and I will lead. Let's go. So this is where they're going to teach us about the weapon triangle, but instead, while they try to do that, I'm just going to talk about Scent and Kane. Scent and Kane. I keep messing up their names and getting them mixed up. Starting off with Sane, or apparently Scent, if my talking is any indication. He's our first in instance, or technically, him and Kent are both our first instance, of a Cavalier. They have lots of movement, and they can use both swords and lances. And Sane in particular actually has a lot of HP and a lot of strength growth, to the point where he can do a crap ton of damage. So, he's really really good for being highly mobile and just kind of going around and picking off enemies. He's, he's my Cavalier of choice in the game, and he's one that we're going to be sticking with for a long time. And like I say there, he hits on basically anything that moves. But you see that, 7 movement. That's because he's on a horse, obviously. He's better with lances than he is with swords, but that's just how he starts out. One thing you do want to stay away from with Sane is pretty much keeping... You don't want to put him in too much danger because he doesn't have that much defense or resistance um, or speed for that matter. He's essentially a glass cannon, but if you get lucky and you get lots of defense and resistance, oh boy, he is an amazing unit. Kent is much more balanced of the two. He's better with swords than... Sane is, but Sane is better with lances than he is. Now you might notice that Kent has a really, really good HP growth, but then everything else is much more balanced than Sane's. I honestly really do prefer... I honestly really do prefer Sane to Kent. But that's not to say that Kent is a bad unit. Far from it. He can get really lucky and have a lot higher stats than Sane. I just prefer the higher strength. So they're going to teach us about another thing here, and that is cover. You might notice the little tree branches on the ground there. That's why Sane, Sane ended up missing. Um, normally it's not a guaranteed miss like that, but because it's scripted, well... So the trade, you just move up to another unit, select trade, and then you just pick the item that you want to go. So we have to hit A. So now we have to hit B to stop trading. You might notice that... Uh, the, you might notice that things are being pretty tutorial heavy right now. That will change eventually, but it's going to be like this for a little while. So because Sane is a ranged unit, or not a ranged unit, he's a mounted unit, uh, he can move after doing an action that I think is just not attacking. I can't remember, honestly. I'm not actually going to let them come to me. I didn't want Kent to get this kill, but... Get it. I'm not going to be using Kent long term, so I don't really want him to be getting all this experience. Fortunately, we're on the trees now, so we're able to get the dodge there. Not that we would... Although we had a pretty good chance of actually avoiding it anyway. I'm actually going to give this kill to Kent, um, just because I want him to get some more experience. Check. Yeah, he's still level 1, so... I'm actually gonna move... Uh, Kent over here. I'm actually gonna give him... We give her... That Vulnary. Now you might notice the rescue option there. Um, basically, you have a constitution stat, and if your constitution is higher than... the allies that you're trying to rescue, you can pick them up. Or it might be aid. Oh yeah, it is. Your aid stat has to be higher than their constitution. So, if someone had a const if someone had a aid of 8, they would not be able to rescue Kent. Now, I'm 
actually gonna move over here and give this sword um, to. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it on uh, on Kent there, just in case, because there are some places, there are some situations where I want to use Kent a little bit. And actually, I gave the sword to Lin. He has the little hands. All right, let's see what we got for this level up. Strength, speed, and luck. That's actually pretty good. I wanted to have some defense, though. So now all we have to do is go and defeat the boss. You might notice that we don't have to route, we don't have to seize anything, we just have to route the enemies. I'm actually gonna try and give this kill to Sane. Yeah, look at that damage! That's a reference to a YouTuber I like to watch. Now, funny story, when I did my first a test recording of this. Or it wasn't even a test recording, it was just my first recording a um, long time ago when I first tried to do the Let's Play. Uh, this guy, I don't know how, I think it was to do with, uh, I think I was fighting him with Lin, and he got a crit and killed Lin. <laughs> so, you gotta be careful, even early on in this game. One thing I haven't talked about yet, is how when your units die, they're dead for good. But anyway, we successfully defeated him. Now let's see what we got. Strength, speed, and resistance. Awesome. I'm really happy with resistance. I remember that was one thing that I had to deal with a lot, is that Sane couldn't handle magic. And we get a nice little picture after we defeat him. You want to share your story with me? Yes. We have ventured from Kaelin and Lycia in search of someone. Lycia, that's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to... We've come as messengers... Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady Madeline who eloped with, with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our Lord, the Marquis of Kaelin's only daughter. Is it Marquis? Marquis? I've always pronounced it Marquis because of Final Fantasy tactics. He was heartbroken his own daughter would abandon him, so... Eventually, the Marquis simply declared that he had no daughter. And then this year, we received a letter from Mady... From Mady Ladolin. Yep. Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happily on the Sikhe Plains. The Marquis was a st the Marquis was ecstatic to learn that he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. That was also the name of that was also the name of the Marquis's wife. He passed away at an early age. Lindis thought she should bear this name thawed the Marquis's heart. Now his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. We also learned that all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. I heard that she was living alone in the plains. I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Kayla. To the rest of our tribe, I was always Lynn. When I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. That's all so strange. I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather. Lindis. I never thought I'd hear that name again. Wait. That bandit. He called me Lindis, too. What? How could he have... He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? Lundgren? Who's that? He's the Marquis' younger brother. Everyone assumed that Lady Maelum was gone forever. This made Lord Lundgren heir to the Marquis' title. To be blunt, Lady, your existence is an obstacle to your granduncle's ambi ambitions. That's... But I have no interest in inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your granduncle is not the sort of man to believe that. 
I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Caleb. Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I will go with you. Shy Guy, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Shy Guy? You want me to decide? Of course, your companionship will do much to ease my journey, but it's going to be so dangerous. You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you. Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid.